Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this new video where we'll explore together the cultivation of the pawpaw, a very unique and easy to grow fruit tree, from planting to harvest. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell to stay informed about my new videos. Also, remember to give it a thumbs up to encourage me to continue translating videos from my French channel if you enjoy this type of content. Finally, leave me a comment to let me know what cultivation guide you'd like to see in the next video or if you have any questions. I'll be happy to respond. Without further ado, let's start the video. Happy watching! 1. Presentation The pawpaw, also known as pawpaw, is a relatively lesser-known deciduous fruit tree belonging to the Anonaceae family. It produces fruits with a shape similar to papaya and a taste reminiscent of banana. It's a very hardy tree that can withstand temperatures as low as minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Its natural form is pyramidal, and it can reach a height of 16 to 39 feet at maturity, even more in its natural habitat. The blossoms, uniquely colored in wine red, span over six weeks during spring, leading to a harvest from late summer to early autumn. Another advantage of this tree, besides its hardiness and distinctive blossoms, is that the entire plant, except for the fruits, contains significant amounts of alkaloids, tannins, and other substances like acetogenins, making it an excellent insect repellent, mosquitoes, aphids, Colorado potato beetles, flies. Two, soil exposure to sunlight. The pawpaw prefers deep, rich, moist, and well-drained soils with a neutral to slightly acidic pH, between 5.5 and 7.5. In terms of exposure, it should be planted in a sunny to partly shaded location. It can thrive in all continental and coastal regions, except in mountainous areas, as it requires a minimum of 160 frost-free days to develop properly. 3. Planting Two months before planting Prepare the planting by digging a hole about 80 centimeters in all directions for in-ground cultivation. Mix a special fruit tree fertilizer with some well-decomposed manure into the excavated soil, then refill without compacting. The planting should ideally be done in winter, during the vegetation rest period, and outside of a freezing period. The planting distance between two subjects will be approximately 8 to 10 feet. Propagation, on the other hand, can be done either by sowing or by grafting. Planting At the time of planting, reopen the hole you prepared a few months earlier just a little larger than the volume of the root ball. Place a layer of gravel or clay beads about 6 to 8 inches deep at the bottom of the hole, which will serve as a drainage layer. Refill, compacting well to leave no air pockets in your hole. Create a basin and then water generously. Four, maintenance care. Pruning. Pruning will be done in winter and will simply involve removing branches that grow towards the inside of the tree and trimming the ends of branches to maintain the tree in the desired shape. Maintenance. The soil should remain moist throughout the summer, so mulching, straw, dead leaves, mowed grass, pine bark, is highly recommended as it will keep your soil cool and, as it decomposes, bring acidity to your soil. The soil should not be cultivated, surface worked, due to the sensitivity of its roots. This is also why the pawpaw is grown in pots, as it will not tolerate being transplanted bare-rooted, hence its slightly higher purchase price. The pawpaw is not very susceptible to diseases and pests thanks to the insecticidal properties of its leaves, which also help combat soil nematodes. It is therefore unnecessary, even discouraged, to apply treatments to this tree. 5. Harvest Storage 
harvest will take place from late summer to early autumn, depending on the earliness of the variety and the cultivation zone. Fruits should be harvested as soon as the flesh starts to soften and they detach easily. The skin will still be green for the sunflower variety, but for all other varieties, it should turn yellowish-green or yellow, but be picked before browning. Caution, immature fruits contain an irritating substance. Storage Pawpaws will keep for about two weeks in the refrigerator if the fruits are undamaged and a few days at room temperature. Avoid eating the skin and seeds, as they are harmful when bitten and can cause diarrhea and vomiting. Once the skin of the pawpaws has turned brown, they become unfit to consume. A fruit picked too early will not ripen properly and will turn brown while remaining irritating with an unpleasant taste. This video is now concluded. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel to motivate me to continue translating all the videos from my French channel. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Finally, leave a comment to let me know which cultivation guide you'd like to see in the next video or if you have any questions. I'll respond with pleasure. See you soon for the next video. Goodbye.